Hey everyone, if you've been listening to a lot of Dean Martin or Tony Bennett records recently, then perhaps you're suffering from coronavirus. But for the rest of the world, the coronavirus decided to level up and let everyone know it means business. And business has indeed been hit hard as the markets collapsed faster than Diane Abbott if she tried to run a marathon. The stock market saw 10% day-over-day drops as politicians urged calm. Although, ironically, panic buying is probably the only reliable revenue stream right now for much of the high street. Alternatively, they'll just get in the car go down to home base if you expect things to turn really nasty as they've got all the shovels and quick climb you'll ever need. Not to mention red paint if you want to either mark your door with a cross or simply use your company's working from home policy as an excuse to paint the downstairs spare room in the next couple of weeks. The strongest reaction to events of course has come from the US where President Trump implemented an overnight travel ban on anyone coming in from the EU's Schengen zone with many US tourists in France paying tens of thousands of dollars to trade tickets to get onto one of the few remaining seats home before it came into effect something resembling the fall of Saigon except in colour and with fewer movies expected to be made about it. Unless, of course, they want to remake that one where Tom Hanks is stuck living inside an airport for years on end. The whole US tourist issue makes me wonder if the recession will force the illegal migrant industry to pivot towards a new, more upmarket revenue stream. I mean, cramming dozens of middle class Westerners onto a packed vehicle and charging vastly over the odds. Why not? It's made Michael O'Leary one of the wealthiest men in Ireland. One other angle to this developing story is that I see that Tom Hanks, who I just mentioned him in fact, he too has got the disease and he'll now be undertaking a very real life performance of that film where he's isolated all by himself on that island. In response, a Hollywood spokesperson for the coronavirus said that it would be starring in a remake of Catch Me If You Can. And Harvey Weinstein offered to stay in a solitary confinement cell for as long as the public at large want him to. Anyway, stay safe. See you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.